as a uh, coach and uh, someone who revives people and helps them reinvent their lives and an intuitive, of course, as well. I've learnt, through my coach actually, Kirik Ashley, uh, I've learnt that um, we become quite um, diligent in listening to other people and the language they speak and the words they use. So what I often do is um, I correct people in, in their language and the, and the words I wanted to um, sort of kind of bring to your attention today is the words and and but. Uh, we use them, uh, both words, in our conversations all the time. I get that. That's, all, uh, that's okay. And so words, as we know, words have a lot of power. And when we are just chatting on in conversation, we can often tell a person, maybe it's to do with their education, but of, and often it's not. Notice I did that. <laughs> uh, that the words we use uh, are kind of inadvertent. You know, and uh, they come for, they, they show the deep meaning of what's going on inside the person. For example, you know, um, if I say to you, uh, you know, those little African kids um, up the road uh, are uh, really noisy, you'd say nothing. If I said, look, I'm not racist, but those African kids up the road are really noisy, you would go, hmm. Uh. Okay. Now the fact I use but negates the, the meaning of the first sentence or that first phrase and it says, to me, it says, oh, Andrew's racist. <laughs> you know. So when I start to say something like, um, I'm not racist and those little African kids up the road, um, they're really noisy. Now apart from the grammar being a bit, e -e -e, a bit, a bit iffy, um, as no meaning whatsoever, just saying that those little African kids up the road are noisy. Yeah, fair enough, you know. <clears throat> so, just below the surface that, though, is that other meaning that, um, you know, if someone says to you, you know, I'm not racist, but, you know, I feel it all the time. I don't know about you. I feel it all the time. As soon as someone says that to me, I go, yep. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say something about someone, who, you know, and I know you are. It's going to be a racist slur on someone, you know. I'm using that as a fairly uh, poignant example. There are other uh, software examples. So what it means is there's something just below the surface about that person you're, you're getting the meaning of, you know, uh, getting the understanding of. So be diligent yourself about how you talk and, and, and the language because what it's bringing to surface is something about you and in personal development the one thing we want to do is improve and revive our lives and reinvent our lives all the time and it's done with the tiny tiny little subtle differences we make every day and these are called habits and we change these habits all the, all the time okay so uh, work on that just be mindful of your own self-speak you know, when, you, when you say something to yourself and more importantly when you're talking to someone else okay and uh, try to substitute and in but if you're anything like me you'll say some blah 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 something but and you know and uh, to really <clears throat> to really uh, to bring it home to yourself is in a very very loving and uh, empowering way start to correct other people Put in that when they say but and it's negate something, say and. And they go, huh? Say and. Because it, and you can tell it negates other word. What you mean is and. And they go, huh? huh. Okay. Like this. And uh, you're helping other people as well. So that's your little tip. Great, isn't it? You have an awesome weekend or day, and uh, I'll take the wind and, uh, and go inside. See you later.